Hey, what's up guys? It's Cypher. Today, I'm finally going to show you guys the truth. And there's really only one way for me to do this. So you guys know me from my Fortnite videos, but for the very first time, I'm gonna show you guys what it's like to live a week in the life of a Fortnite YouTuber and streamer. There is a lot that goes on behind the scenes and most YouTubers are gonna hide this stuff from you guys, but today I'm gonna show you guys everything. I have been keeping some secrets from you guys, including what's going on underneath this hat. I recently dyed my hair for a very big project, and in today's vlog, you're gonna see what color I dyed my hair, as well as a big hint at what this project is all about. I know this is a very different kind of video, but give it a chance. This is a week in the life of a Fortnite YouTuber, so let's start on day one. Good morning, everyone. It's uh, 7 a.m. Welcome to day one of uh, my week. Usually the first thing I do is I check my phone. I actually got a message from Booga, you know, World Cup champion Booga. He just sent me some huge, huge news about something that's happening for him. And by the time you're watching this video, you probably already know what it is. It's his blank, blank, blank. But yeah, sometimes I'll wake up and I'll have uh, DMs from different content creators and streamers. Nick A30 and I, you know, we're working on some videos together soon, so the lever action, rapid fire drama still goes on. I am, however, having dinner today with Young Gravy and Mitch Jones, but Young Gravy, we actually use a lot of his songs in our old Fortnite videos. He's super chill. Let's go over to the sink real quick. Okay, so I am about to get ready. Some employees already showed up to the house and I need to do my hair. But speaking of my hair, I'm actually dyeing my hair. I'm kind of nervous. I've never dyed my hair before and I'm doing it for this pretty big project. I'll definitely give you guys a hint towards the end and you'll also see what color I end up dyeing my hair, so. All right guys, it's Monday. So today we have our weekly team meeting. The weekly meeting is happening right now. There's Jack in the middle, and we have a lot of employees, maybe 15, 16 people working for us right now. Look, there's me, chat. I'm busy doing this vlog instead of focusing on the meeting. It's honestly crazy to think that there's so many people working to make Cypher PK and make all these things happen. All right, guys, so after that meeting, I hopped on stream and streamed all day, and now it's day two, and today I'm gonna show you guys my stream room setup. All right, guys, so I am at the entrance of my stream room. I'm gonna show you guys around and just kind of talk about what's going on in this room. So this right here is the main setup. I've got four monitors, one, two, three, four. You don't need four monitors if you're uh, creating content. When I started, I just had two. It's the guy from Fortnite. Tom Cruise is here, ladies and gentlemen. This is a cat tree for Mika to climb on. So this was a really cool skateboard that a fan made for me. It's a Kotsky. We also have these custom Cypher PK Air Forces. These are really cool. The same fan sent me these as well. Just to show you quickly around the room, like I said, it's a work in progress. I got a mythic scar hanging up over there, Master Chief helmet, Naruto wooden sculpture. This is a custom wooden sculpture, and my wife got it for me. This right here was for my first meet and greet ever at TwitchCon. And actually, it, this, the reason why I kept this poster is because I was really nervous about my first meet and greet. Big streamers were having their meet and greets at the same time. This is my first time ever like at TwitchCon uh, after I blew up on Fortnite. And I was a little nervous that not a lot of people were gonna show up to my meet and greet, but my meet and greet line was so long they had to cap it. So it was a very special moment for me and it really motivated me to continue to record and make content. We just got these couches so that people can hang out here. Terry wearing the LeBron James crown. But let's go through the stream setup and kind of show you what's going on. All right, so I said I have four monitors. This one is for the game. This one is to see the OBS and I read the chat right over there. This other monitor is where I have some audio stuff. My dashboard, I have music playing. Sometimes I'll have my Discord open on this monitor as well. So we got this one installed basically to put my schedule for the day. Stream schedule, stream, gym stream, main channel video, more second channel video, no announcements. 
and this is just a calendar. I have the GoXLR for the audio, the Rocket TKL keyboard. I have my mic stand. People ask me all the time, why do I have this ribbon on my mic? Well, that ribbon was actually on my wife's headset when we first started talking six years ago. And now it's on my microphone. So this ribbon means a lot. We once thought we lost it while we were moving, but we just misplaced it and my wife almost cried. Okay, so I have two computers. They're on top of each other because of this stand. Custom Cypher PK glass case. This is the streaming computer. This is the gaming computer. I'm actually gonna be moving to a different stream room in the near future. And even that one is not gonna be the final one. Like I said earlier, we have a huge, huge project we're working on and it involves my ultimate content creation streaming room. All right, so after that, I hopped on stream and pretty much streamed all day. And now it's day three. And today I'm going to show you guys what goes on behind the scenes when I'm making my YouTube videos. All right, guys, I have to record a Fortnite video. I'm going to show you guys kind of what goes on behind the scenes, especially for the videos that I record off stream. So I communicate with my main editor and YouTube manager, Jack, and he is giving me some information about some season eight leaks. I go over all the information and then I get ready to record and I hop in game and I try to win a game of Fortnite while talking over all these points. All right, so after I record, I send it to the editing team and then they post and schedule the video. This is what it looks like after the video is live. I can see the growth of the video over time as it's posted. I can see how many people are watching it right now. Um, and as a YouTuber, you can see behind the scenes and really see the stats and kind of judge how your video is doing and see if you gotta make some adjustments for your future videos. So this is a shorts channel, which actually gets the most views per month out of all our channels, which is insane since we only recently made this channel. And when you post a video, you can see how it's doing compared to the other videos. So this one is a three of 10. So it's really good if you post something and it's like a three of 10, two of 10, or one of 10, cause it's doing really well. And it's always a buzzer when you upload a video and it's a 10 of 10, but don't let that demotivate you. Sometimes you upload a video and it doesn't do well initially, but over time it can really pick up steam, especially if it's a good video. Okay, I'm gonna introduce you guys to my pets. I have three Australian Shepherds, uh, Aegon, Aiko, and Yuna, and I also have a cat named Mika. Okay, this is Aegon. He is the oldest, he's the first pet we got. He's a very protective, good boy. Aegon, how do you feel about them canceling your YouTube channel, Life with Aussies? It was kinda messed up, not gonna lie, man. All right, let's go check on your sisters. He's taking us to them. Sit, stop, 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 oh my God. So this is Aiko. She loves pets and loves attacking uh, Aegon and Yuna playfully. So this is Yuna, she's the youngest of the dogs. She's a big overgrown baby, uh, she's very sweet. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the diva of the house, Mika. Look at, look at that yawn. She, it, she what are you doing? And, uh, Oh, oh, she's attacking the camera. And that is the household. After showing you guys the pets, I had a meeting with my team about this big project we're working on and it involves going to film some TikToks. So on day four, I'm heading over to the park and we're gonna film them. Okay, so today we are gonna go record some TikToks and I'm gonna have to dunk. So I got my uh, LeBron James shoes on. I'm gonna go throw it down for, for a TikTok and record some other ones. So the team showed up today. As you guys know, it's not just me and uh, Jack. There's a lot of people, uh, but this is the in-house team that comes to the house uh, to work here. All right, so I'm going to the park. I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous because I actually uh, pulled uh, a muscle in my right leg while I was sleeping. I don't know how. Hopefully I can still dunk. I'm gonna definitely stretch so I don't pull another muscle. Record some TikToks, so let's get to it. All right, Ollie, how are you feeling about what we just filmed? Uh, feeling great, feeling pretty tired. Luckily, the sun wasn't too hot today. I'm honestly like so happy that my ability to dunk is back again. I've got hops now, guys. Feeling great, feeling better than ever. Excited to share this stuff with you guys when the time is ready, pretty soon. All right, guys, I'm about to go live. Uh, I'm gonna show you what it's like to go live and like what I do to set up for a live stream. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on all the lights Turn this one on as well. 
Then I have a ring light, reflects off of this to create like a soft glow. And uh, now what I do is I turn on my camera. I do have a stream countdown. So I start my countdown. Countdown starts at 10 minutes. And uh, usually in that 10 minutes, I will get something to drink, maybe a snack. I'm already ready. So I'm gonna click this start streaming button. And as soon as I click this, we're gonna be live. I'm gonna make sure my mic is muted. Turn up the music. Let's play some copyright free music. And we start the stream. And it starts off a little slow, but as soon as the notifications... Can I help you? So now I'm gonna tweet out live. All right, the tweet is live and the chat is coming in. This is a really cool part of the stream to see everybody come rushing into the stream, trying to be the first person to type in the chat. All right guys, so later on I went live and pretty much streamed all day and now it's day five and today is finally the day I'm gonna dye my hair. All right guys, I'm getting ready to go dye my hair today. Uh, I'm kind of nervous. A lot of you uh, wonder maybe what kind of car I drive and I don't really post too much flexing on social media, but uh, real quickly, just for those who are curious, this is my Porsche 911 and we're about to go dye my hair, so let's get to it. All right guys, so we're in the middle of the hair dye process. Wanting to do this for a long time, but uh, we really had to wait until we found the perfect person to do this. Who knows, like maybe I'm just gonna start dyeing my hair different colors uh, depending on what we're doing, so. Is the ninja my... special? Yeah, the ninja special. Alright guys, we're halfway done with the bleaching. As you can see, I am officially blonde. We're gonna be putting in the color soon. But some big meeting or opportunity just showed up and this is a pretty big deal. I don't really think I can talk too much about the details, but there's a big opportunity for us and it has to do with Twitch and this project we've been working on. So I know I'm in the middle of my hair appointment, but sometimes things just come up out of nowhere and you can either pass them up or you can jump on the opportunity even if it's inconvenient, sometimes it's worth the inconvenience because if you don't act on it, you'll never know. All right guys, so we got the color in. It's silver um, and uh, not a lot of you guessed that. We actually ran a poll and most of you thought I was gonna go with red. These ladies killed it, they did an amazing job. We've been here for almost six hours and, uh, but just like, this color is popping. It's so, it's so cool, I love it. All right guys, so today is actually my day off. I pretty much have no streams scheduled or videos to record, but I recently started playing this game called New World and I'm pretty addicted. And as a streamer, sometimes you can kind of create your own schedule. So today, I'm playing New World for 11 hours straight on stream, on my day off. So let's play some New World. <laughs> Alright guys, it's day 7 and I had a great stream today and I finally got my hair cut. And I love the way it looks, especially with the color. Super happy with how it turned out. I've been teasing you guys a lot this entire video about why I'm dyeing my hair. Uh, and now, it's time to finally tell you guys. Over the last year, me and my team have been working very hard on launching an apparel brand for you guys. And we built this from the ground up to create some amazing apparel uh, inspired by gaming and anime. Stuff that actually looks and feels good. Stuff that you would want to wear out in public and it's called Metal Umbrella. Over the next week, I'm gonna be teasing and leaking a lot of stuff, showing you guys some of the awesome designs that we've come up with and uh, it officially launches on August 5th. We just posted the Twitter and Instagram today, so if you wanna be one of the OGs, go follow the Twitter and Instagram, it's in the description down below. If we get to 10K followers on either Twitter or Instagram, I will post a leak, uh, but like I said, August 5th is when it's officially launching. Uh, I dyed my hair to match one of the characters uh, that's a part of the brand and uh, he also has the same kind of hair color so it's gonna be very cool we really put a lot of time into this and I hope you guys love it as well if you guys enjoyed the vlog and you guys want to see more drop a like and let me know and we'll have more vlogs coming your way 
Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time.